the preparation of a personalized therapeutic vaccine begins with the collection of cancer cells from a patient. They are shipped to Zeme Biopharma, where the vaccine is manufactured within hours. It is sent back to the clinician to be injected subcutaneously into the same patient. An agrigon is formed by the assembly of lipid membranes, dissolved tumor cells and human IL-2. Upon closer examination, the onion-like structures of the agrigons are composed of lipid layers that contain the patient's cancer cell antigens and human IL-2, a powerful immunostimulator and well-known anti-cancer agent. Agrigons deliver the benefits of IL-2 locally without the associated toxicity. Abundant subcutaneous dendritic cells ingest agrigons. The dendritic cells migrate through lymphatic vessels to regional lymph nodes along with free agrigons. Like microbes, agrigons provide powerful danger signals that activate the dendritic cells. These cancer cells are now seen as dangerous microbes and are no longer tolerated. The dendritic cells prepare and present cancer cell antigens to activate T cells. These activated killer T cells multiply under the action of IL-2 that comes naturally from dendritic cells and helper T cells, but also from agrigons. The natural supply of IL-2 is reduced by negative regulatory signals that protect cancer cells, but the multiplication of killer T cells and natural killer cells continues under the effect of IL-2 from agrigons. The synthetic agrigons do not respond to negative signals. These activated killer T cells migrate, recognize and repeatedly kill cancer cells everywhere they are present. They also become long-lived and robust memory T cells ready for reactivation. When injected again, the cancer cell antigens on agrigons reactivate memory killer T cells and the IL-2 expands their numbers they recognize and kill any remaining cancer cells.